Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, where you can discover amazing journeys. Untold stories about the world of food, catching and processing animals from the ocean to the farm. In today's journey, we will continue to explore an extremely fascinating topic, related to one of the most familiar foods in Japanese life, pork, and continue with the strange but equally creepy story about how the Japanese hunt and process an extremely poisonous, extremely dangerous and also extremely delicious fish, lionfish. Pork has long been an important part of the daily diet of Japanese people. Not simply a popular dish, pork in Japan also represents a harmonious combination of traditional culture and modern technology. Right from the breeding stage, the Japanese have applied advanced models, automatic management, and strict quality control from input to output. The pigs are raised in a standard environment. Where humidity, temperature, noise, and light are all precisely adjusted to minimize stress for the animals, a key factor affecting the quality of the meat later. The Kurabuta pig breed, known as the Wagyu of the pig world, is one of the prides of Japanese agriculture. They are raised with natural feed, no antibiotics, have a clear identification code and are monitored throughout their lives. Each pig is like a special individual, with its own records to trace its origin and health status, from birth until it reaches the diner's table. This is how the Japanese ensure that every piece of pork brought to the market is of optimal quality. Delicious, soft and absolutely safe. Not only does it stop at raising livestock, the slaughtering and processing systems at modern factories in Japan such as Kagoshima or Ibaraki also amaze people. Meticulously programmed robots will automatically perform the steps of dissection, classification, washing meat with sterilized ozone water and packaging according to cold standards. All operate in a sterile, closed environment, minimizing human contact to ensure that no bacteria or impurities exist. Workers must disinfect their entire body when entering the work area, wear specialized protective gear, and all machines are cleaned after each shift. The pork processing industry in Japan does not stop at providing domestic food, but also exports to many demanding markets in the world such as Europe, America, and Southeast Asia. Products such as sausages, cold cuts, smoked meat or fragrant fried tonkatsu are unforgettable for foreign visitors to Japan. A special feature of the pork processing industry here is the complete cold chain, ensuring that from the factory's cold storage, to the transport vehicle, to the supermarket and finally to the people's homes, the meat remains as fresh as if it had just been slaughtered. Some fishing groups also use traps placed on the seabed, specially designed traps that lure lionfish into the trap and prevent them from escaping. This method is safe and can be deployed on a large scale, and is less dangerous than the manual method. In many Japanese waters, the government also organizes coral rescue campaigns, calling on the community to participate in catching lionfish as an activity to protect the marine environment. After catching lionfish, the processing stage is even more important. The fish must be cleaned. All poisonous spines removed with specialized scissors, thick gloves and medical forceps. The fish is then scaled, gutted, washed and filleted into thin slices. Many Japanese chefs use lionfish for sashimi, grilled with salt, or fried with a special sauce. 
The fatty taste and natural sweetness make this fish increasingly popular in high-end Japanese restaurants. Although the price is not cheap, lionfish are also highly valued for the nutritional value, high in omega-3, low in heavy metals, and safe for the elderly, pregnant women, and children. This is why the Japanese consider lionfish not only a food but also a sustainable nutritional solution. They believe that if a dangerous invasive species can be turned into a valuable delicacy, It is a testament to human creativity and superior adaptability to nature. Not only in Japan, countries such as the United States, especially the state of Florida, and countries in the Caribbean also learn from this model to control lionfish and restore marine ecosystems. In these places, there are no restrictions on catching this fish, including for sport commercial, or research purposes. Lionfish hunting competitions are held regularly as a movement combining conservation and entertainment. Looking back at the whole process, from closed pig farms, modern processing plants with robot technology, to adventurous divers catching poisonous fish in the deep sea, we see that the development of the Japanese food industry does not rely solely on machinery or finance, but is also the crystallization of knowledge, culture, and the spirit of respecting nature to the maximum extent. They never let any animal become useless. They find a way to understand, then process, then turn it into value. That is the difference that makes a culinary culture that is both traditional and pioneering of the land of the rising sun. From here, we can clearly see one thing. The Japanese do not simply consider food as a source of life, but also as a part of art, a philosophy of life, and of responsibility towards the environment. When faced with a challenge like the lionfish, a toxic, Invasive species that destroys coral and native fish, they don't kill it with poison or harsh measures, but instead find a way to incorporate it into the culinary ecosystem, turning the enemy of the ocean into a resource for the entire community. Longtime chefs in Japan have been experimenting with this fish. They dissect every structural feature of the meat, test the taste, determine the right cooking method, from the ideal frying temperature to keep the meat sweet to the way to marinate it to cover the characteristic fishy smell. Some restaurants even create a dish called spicy miso lionfish, a combination of crispy fried fillet and rich sauce served with hot rice, becoming a summer specialty that attracts thousands of diners every year. Others have created a dish of lionfish rolled in seaweed, grilled over hot coals with dried tangerine peel, creating a fragrant aroma that permeates the air, making anyone passing by turn back. But to have those white, soft, and safe slices of lionfish, we must mention the silent efforts of brave fishermen, men who wear oxygen tanks every day, carry sharp spears, swim dozens of meters under the cold water, in the middle of the deep blue ocean where the light is almost extinguished. They swim close to coral reefs, where lionfish take refuge, hiding among moss and rocks. A small mistake, a missed stab. Being stabbed by a thorn can cause them to have convulsions. 
pain, or even pass out in the deep water. But they continue, not for fame, but to protect their homeland sea and bring back precious food to millions of Japanese tables. In Okinawa, an archipelago in southern Japan, home to many rare coral reefs, people also hold lionfish hunting festivals. During this festival, teams of professional divers compete to see who can catch the most fish. The lionfish are then brought back to be processed on the spot. and invited for everyone to enjoy. Each fish is a symbol of victory, the result of courage and also a step forward in the effort to restore the marine ecosystem. Adults prepare the fish, while children learn about the dangers and ecological significance of this fish. Not only is it an industry that brings in billions of dollars in revenue each year, pork processing also creates jobs for hundreds of thousands of workers, from food technology engineers, production workers to equipment operators and nutrition research experts. In Japan, nothing is done arbitrarily, everything follows a standardized process. Machines must be certified for safety and periodically inspected. Operators must undergo regular training and testing to stay updated with new technology. If pork is the crystallization of the long-standing culinary culture and the perfectionist spirit typical of the Japanese. Then lionfish, a poisonous and invasive marine fish, is a symbol of their creativity, flexibility and spirit of not being afraid of challenges. No one would have thought that a poisonous fish, once a threat to Japan's coral reefs and marine ecosystems, could become a sought-after delicacy in high-end restaurants. But the Japanese did it. Lionfish have a colorful appearance, with long fins and many poisonous spines on their back. belly and tail. These spines contain venom that can cause extreme pain, even death if not handled properly. But when the spines are carefully removed, the inside of the fish is white, soft, fatty and has a rich flavor, similar to rare coral fish such as grouper or snapper. Therefore, despite the danger, many professional divers in Japan still decide to pursue hunting this fish for culinary purposes and ecological control. It is impossible to use conventional fishing nets to catch lionfish. Because they often live in coral reefs deep at the bottom of the sea, where sunlight has difficulty penetrating, lionfish fishermen must dive deep armed with weapons such as spears or spears, to catch them by hand. Each hunt for lionfish is an adventure that requires physical strength, skill, and courage. A lionfish sting can paralyze a diver for hours. So they always carry a first aid kit, wear thick protective gear, and work in pairs to support each other. T humane way of educating the community. It is impossible not to mention the scientific research behind the consumption of lionfish. At many universities in Japan, scientists have spent years analyzing the toxins in the fins, bones, skin and internal organs of lionfish. They clearly identify which areas of the fish's body can be eaten. 